Hi, I'm Andre from the John Morris Group. Today we're doing a product review on the Cole Palmer Digital Hot Plate Magnetic Stirrer. Firstly, why I love this particular hot plate magnetic stirrer. Well, it does what it says it does. It heats and it stirs and it's only $800. But there are a couple of cool features about this particular unit that I'd like to draw your attention to. First of all, this is a traditional hot plate magnetic stirrer. So what does that mean? That means that inside here is a monophase motor which rotates. And at the top of the, the motor, you have a, a block with two magnets. And the magnets rotate underneath here and they create a moving north and south pole. Now, that's different from an induction hot plate magnetic stirrer and an induction hot plate magnetic stirrer creates a, magnet, a changing magnetic field by pulses of electromagnets. So they're usually more expensive, they can be stronger and have their own advantages, but this is a great traditional hot plate magnetic stirrer. There's a couple other things I really like here. Next, you have the option for an external PT100 sensor. Now this is included in that package. And you really want this because what it allows you to do is to set the temperature of your hot plate magnetic stirrer by the temperature of your sample. So the way that it works, your sensor goes in, it plugs in at the back, and now the temperature that your hot plate magnetic stirrer is reading is the temperature of the sample, not the temperature of the hot plate. Now there's definitely a temperature gradient between the hot plate and the sample, so if you care about the temperature of your sample, this is a really handy feature. Another thing I really like about this hot plate magnetic stirrer is this raised lip. Now this raised lip is really important because it's quite possible to have spills on top of your hot plate magnetic stirrer and when fluids spill you want them to run away from the controls here on the front. The controls are covered so you shouldn't have any worries or any concerns about getting liquids in there unless you literally deluge this unit. The power at the back is recessed underneath the lip so again if you spill fluids over this particular hot plate magnetic stirrer you don't have to worry about shocks. In addition to that you have nice rubber feet here on the bottom and these rubber feet mean that a you're insulated and b you're standing up out of any fluids that might spill on your bench. The overall unit itself is IP42 rated and <clears throat> we're talking about temperatures up to a realistically boiling point. They say 370 degrees but if you're working with water you will never get above 100 or even probably reach it. Okay so generally work with below the boiling point of your fluid, particularly if you cannot get the heat into the fluid. And what do I mean? If I have a lot of fluid sitting on top of this hot plate magnetic stirrer, I've only got one area where I'm conducting heat into the fluid. I'm also losing heat through the sides of the actual vessel. So I'm always fighting the loss of heat that I'm getting and the energy that I'm putting in. In this case with water, you probably won't get above 95 degrees C, even if the hot plate itself is rated to 370. If we plug the unit in, you'll see that it's got a nice clear digital display, which is easy to read across the room. And if I plug in our temperature sensor, you can see when I turn it on, that we're currently at 40 degrees inside the sample. If I turn the stirring on, you can see we have nice fine control and a reasonably strong magnet. And I'll show you how we can tell it's quite a strong magnet when we ramp up in speed here. We won't lose the flea. Notice the ramp is quite gentle as it's getting to speed. And this is quite a trick if you don't want to lose the flea. From a John Morris perspective, we almost always have these units in stock, so they're always ready to go. We sell a ton of these, and it's not that we don't have better hot plant magnetic stirrers. 
If you're after a premium end of the market, we certainly have that as well. But at $800, it's really hard to find a better package, particularly when it tells you when you're hot, it tells you the speed that you're running at, and it's quite well protected against spills. And in a moment, we're gonna do a test on this particular unit to find out how it actually goes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour a bunch of water over it, we're gonna do that unplugged, and then we're gonna turn it on again just to show you that the unit still works. You can also calibrate this PT100 sensor against a reference electrode, uh, which is great because it means that you know that you're getting precision and accuracy from the entire unit. All right, let's do a deluge test and see how we go. So what I've got here is about 300 mil milliliters of water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this over the top of the hot plate magnetic stirrer just to show you how it actually goes, right? This can actually happen because if a flea runs away, it can come through the side of your, of, of your flask, and if that breaks, then your hot plate magnetic stirrer can get deluged. So here we go. I can hear every lab manager out there cringing. Now this is not a normal situation because the water can't run away in this, in this instance. As you can see here, the water's got nowhere to go. It's contained within a bucket. So, let's take it out and see how we went. Shake that off. So now the moment of truth. Looking good. So this is the digital ceramic hot plate from Cole Palmer. Thanks for watching and bye for now.